Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I've got episode two of the Star Trek walkthrough. So here we go. So from what I remember last time, ah yeah, here we go. Video pretty much speaks for itself. Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Okay, so we're obviously still in the shuttle bay here. As there's loads of shuttles. As you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach <laughs> is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Yes, we do. Well, the shuttle base is certainly bigger than uh, other ships, that's for sure. Let's go to the bridge then. Do you almost think that this version of Kirk is a bit too laid back? Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. Nero's backyard. That rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ohura Hail New Vulcan. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reef is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Okay. Oh, get to walk around the bridge for once. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Kind of reminds me of Bridge Crew, the game. Of course, it's the same ship. I believe. Oh, wait, no, it's the Aegis, isn't it? Oh, can we sit in the chair? Oh, this never gets old. <laughs> so it's kind of like a few interactions that we can do. Can we not do anything else? 
Carl, what can you tell me? New Vulcan is not responding to Hales either, sir. Stay on it. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. Alright, alright, alright. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. <laughs> Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott? I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked, but I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Never knew Scotty was so big on weapons. New Vulcan. Kind of looks a bit like old Vulcan. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. They almost look like... Dinosaur birds. Quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. It does have a kind of old series feel, feel to it, though, with the colour scheme. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Oh, great. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Oh, that's right. You move it. Yeah, come on, Spock. Yeah, what are you doing? This system. Right. You hack that one, I'll hack this Captain, one. I need your assistance at this console. Alright, calm down. So you've got to hold this plus targeting thing. In the middle? Whoa. Hey, it's harder than it looks, this. Oh. Hey? So am I trying to do the lines? Is that... Hey, we did it! Don't know how we did it, but we did it, so Captain, that's what counts. Seems to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Ooh, that's creepy, isn't I it? I helped to build and design. Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind. Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get unfriendly, unpredictable. But my father. When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. Good vital signs. Ah, weapon time. Whoops. Right. Just... Yeah, that's right. So you have like a low setting and a high setting. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly definite. Cool view. They are dead, Captain. Hmm. Well, that's creepy. I did. Residents evil. Zombies, perhaps. Ah. We're going for the doom effect. Uh-oh. That guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. I thought it was on stun. Oops. I 
Piggy's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Ah, is that the Vulcan rising? Research data. Hmm. Use your XP to upgrade your tricorder and personal sidearm. Oh, it's getting a bit RPG, this. We do need... <laughs> yeah, of course. Ah, okay. So it seems like... Oh, why won't you let me escape? Okay, that was probably the daftest upgrade screen I've ever seen. It wouldn't let me escape it unless I purchased an upgrade, which is pretty daft considering I want to get a better upgrade, so you can't save up. Anyway, I think I figured out that is stun and that is kill. That's something, I guess. All right. I know a few of you in the comments have said there are some annoyances with this game. Um, beginning to see a few of them. But I will complete this to the end because I want to see what happens. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Ah, yeah. Oh, who is that? <laughs> is someone there? X, 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 come on, press the X! Oh. I was tapping X, but nothing was happening. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. A mind meld? Really? Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. It might be funny, but if he's like infected or something, doesn't that mean Spock's going Anything? to get infected? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. Oh dear. I suggest setting our phasers to stun. After all, they are Vulcans. There must be a cure. Help me! I cannot stop it. Oh. Let's find the Sirac guy. And get that worked. Um. Yeah, we can just climb through. That's good. Oh. Officer, quickly, come in. Glad they didn't shoot. Those guns look pretty nasty. Is he up here, Sirok? Osavensu. Spock. Sirok, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding Surak. officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirok. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tama, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? Mm. They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. Okay, so we need to secure the Helios device. Ah, 
That's interesting. Lock. <laughs> I locked Spock out. Ooh. He doesn't look too well, does he? Elevator. You appear to be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. That looks like... Oh, yeah, yeah. They need all that power to power the door. It's like a mini nuclear reactor. Oh. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Mercy. Don't mind me. I'm just the window cleaner. Well, I think we just stunned him, which is what Sorok wanted. Oh, this thing. Honestly, I don't understand this thing. Uh oh. Now look what you've done, Spock. Is he hacking it? Yay! Well done. Is there anything in here worth taking? Ooh, what's this? Ah. We are on the verge of a new dawn for the Vulcan people. The colony we are establishing here is the first step towards restoring what was lost when our home world was destroyed. The Elder Spark was wise to suggest a planet as far from the neighboring... Stay down. Don't let them see you. But Spark does not know about the Helios device. We need its power to terraform the planet. But I know that Spark would have... I think I just interrupted the message there, but we get the general idea. Ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection. There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can't hear you. We're deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. Boom. Oh, here we go. More friendlies. He doesn't look very friendly. Hey, I like the stun setting. Maybe the stun setting doesn't work on Vulcans, like fully, because, you know, they're a lot stronger than humans. Whoa. Okay. Oh dear. 
Taking damage. Is that Spock? Nope, that's not Spock. That's a psycho Vulcan who's just killed me. Oh, thanks, Spock. Spock actually healed me. Can you believe that? That's a pretty neat effect. And... Boom. Thank you. Oh. Thing is, though, I don't know if that's a stun setting or not. What do you think? Oh, I'm just going to keep with the phaser. Remember what he said to Scotty. I know you've got an automated quantum torpedo launcher, but I'm happy with my phaser. So. There we go. It's telling us to go over here somewhere. Through there. Well, we got through the first gauntlet. We have encountered is alarming. Oh, there's a forest. Use the turbo lift. Oh, we got a commendation. So you need to replenish your tricorder energy as well. I didn't know that. That is... Of course, that's the Vulcan weapon. The thing is, I don't trust Spock enough. He might, like, end up shooting the Vulcans. Not on stun. Ooh, Vulcan. Spock, over here. Ooh, what's An this? Access hatch. I think Spock's going to have to deal with that as we've got a fire over there. Right, let's head down the hatch, I guess. The corner attempting to steal the device. Ooh, the gorn. I saw them briefly in Strange New Worlds as I'm up to episode 6 right now. And they do look pretty terrifying. I never realised the Gorm was such a problem for the Federation. Ugh. That's what they look like then. Oh, of course! That's the one that um, Kirk fought, isn't it? On the planet. Didn't he just try throwing rocks at it? Wow. And of course we saw them in Enterprise in the Mirror Universe too. Right, looks like we've got an old-fashioned boss fight here. Yep. Okay, time to switch. Whoa! Where have... Come on, this isn't a time just to lie down. Right. Yeah, let's use the Vulcan gun. It's hard to say if the Vulcan gun has st a stun setting. I like to think it does. Can we skip that scene? No, we can't. Okay. Got an old fashioned gun fight here. Is he actually going to get his weapon out? No, he's getting the phaser out. Thanks, Jim. Like exploding things. Oh! Funnily enough, I don't like gorns who run into me. Oh no! All right, let's try that again. Okay, this is attempt number seven. Number seven. Can you believe that? This game is pretty difficult. It's like... Most of the game is, you know, it flows pretty smooth and then all of a sudden you get to a boss fight and the difficulty just ramps up ridiculous.
I gotta be honest, I'm not very impressed with the Vulcan phaser. Ugh, finally. Now I will confess, I had to reduce the difficulty because I've attempted this seven times now and I'm just getting so frustrated. But I'm going to turn the difficulty back up for the rest of the game. I think we deserve a trophy after that fight, jeesh. Not another one. He's got the device. Such a we must not let him escape. Okay, guys, well oh rats. Let's uh, deal with these guys first. Haha. <laughs> help me back up. Captain, you're injured. I know I'm injured. So I take it these Gone are like kind of normal ish, but not like super powerful. What's a Ravager? Oh. Too late. They have taken the Helios device. Who the? He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. Gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Where's the turbo lift? Is it this power one? Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, there. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you in episode three. Bye for now.